Hi everyone, we have Grandmaster Arjun Arigaisi with us. He just knocked out uh, GM Jawaki Sindarov from Uzbekistan. Congratulations Arjun. Thank you. Well, uh, for the second consecutive game, you got a decisive advantage in uh, Rukpon ending. Uh, where do you think he went wrong today? Uh, I think, I thought this Ruk C8 was unnecessary. I felt Ruk D8 would have better drawing chances. And even after Ruk C8 takes E5, I take E. So when I took on E6, I thought he really had to play Rook D5 here. Oh, I felt B4 was a serious inaccuracy. And I think after Rook D5 he has some drawing chances. Good drawing chances actually. And how was the game before that? Uh, well, I knew I had an advantage. And when he played Queen E8, I felt I should have something very strong. I went into a long thought and I tried to make F4, G5. Uh, bishop takes g5 work, I tried to make f takes g5 work and there were so many variations but none of them seemed so convincing to me so I thought this look and game is my best try so I went for it. Well yesterday after g5, hg6, rook g6 you found a nice tactic which gave you a decisive advantage but uh, somehow he managed to escape with a draw. So what happened yesterday? Uh, yeah, I think uh, when I played rook 8 Look at the G G5 is plan. That was good and after that I thought I played a flawless game until a point. But then I rushed with D5. I don't know if it if it spoiled the win already, but I don't like in retrospect it was totally unnecessary. I should have just played King D5, King E4. I had to calculate it, but it just works I think. So yeah, that's you're facing Sweden number one Niels Grandelius in the fifth round. Uh, I think you have faced him at Tepe Sigemen earlier this year. So, what are your thoughts about this match? Uh, yeah, he's a strong player. It will be a close match. Uh, yes, I played him in Sigemen this year as well as last year. And this one I lost. So, yeah. Let's see. Thank you, Arjun, for your valuable time. I wish you all the best for your fifth round match. Thank you.